If you're taking the SQE soon, these are my last minute tips for you in the lead up to your exams. The SQE exams are so intense and extremely stressful to take. So I know you've been through a lot to this point, but if you're taking them this month, these are the three things I would suggest that you do. First off, I would say to make sure that you get to your test center at least an hour before if you're doing SQE 1. SQE 2, it can vary a little bit. You might be able to get there a little bit later, but SQE 1, definitely an hour before. Make sure you check your email and read through all of your joining instructions as most of the test centers, I think, I think for both exams, shut registrations 30 minutes before the exam actually starts. If you turn up the time that you're supposed to start your exam, you might not be able to get in. So make sure you read all your joining instructions and that you're at the test center early. If you're traveling quite a far distance, just get there really early. Maybe go for a coffee somewhere, minimize that stress on the day. The second thing I would do is stop talking to everyone. I became a little bit of an anti-social hermit when it came to SQE. It gets to a point where the group chats are pinging off in the days up leading up to the exams, talking about who's doing this many questions questions. Have you revised this yet? Have you done that? And all it does is stress you out. And if it's not stressing you out, it's stressing someone else out. So what I honestly would do is just cut everyone off. Definitely mute any SQE group chats that you're in. Stop talking to SQE friends about the exams and just focus on what you're going to do. And finally, the third thing that I would say is trust yourself. You have worked so unbelievably hard. The SQE is not an easy exam. Like we know the SQE is a hard exam. You are clearly capable if you've got through any degree and potentially the GDL or maybe a law degree and you've got to this point, you are clearly capable. Trust the work that you've done up to this point and try to stop second guessing yourself as that's something that the SQE forces you to do, unfortunately. Just have that confidence in yourself to just tackle what's in front of you. I've had a lot of questions recently asking if it's normal to feel completely unprepared for the SQE, no matter how much work you've done. And to be honest, I think particularly with SQE 1, definitely. Pretty much everybody that I'd spoken to all felt completely unprepared for that exam just because there's so much it could come up you just don't feel like you've ever done enough it can make you feel like oh i haven't done enough for this monstrous exam at this point just trust yourself go with your gut actually that's another thing this is a this is a little fourth tip on the day read all of the questions because this was something i think that saved me particularly with sq1 but also with sq2 with sq1 they give you so many different options and it's so easy to be like i know the answer i'm so excited i know the answer and jump to an answer but you need to read every single answer because sometimes they will trick you out with like this is not this but you're like yeah it's this and you don't see that not because you're so excited that you know the answer read all of the question and all of the answers and the same goes for sqe2 you can get caught out with them leading you one way and then actually asking you something completely different because you didn't continue to read everything so it's really important to make sure you know what the question is before you actually go on to do anything which sounds like basic advice but the sqe for some reason is one of the worst exams for it going left if you don't read the question so it's really 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 important if you are taking the sqe soon good luck stay strong it's been a very intense process so far if you feel like you haven't done enough or you don't feel prepared enough, at this point, try and just put those thoughts out your mind. Focus on doing a manageable amount of revision a day. Don't try and do too much because you can't do too much. And that's something that you've got to fight with the SQE is burnout. Just try and stay on a consistent schedule. Stay calm and choose what calls out to you on the day. Good luck.